Hello and welcome to the Helios blog. My name is Helios here for another reaction video. Today, John Zerka slams angry womanists. Let's get into it. The reason she's alone is because she's difficult. Women are not accepting the bare minimum. Women fuck men they respect. All the women who say things like, I'm strong, independent, I don't need no man, like, y'all impress me. Women just gaslight each other and say what they want to hear. at people or whatever it is because but the problem is there's better ways to let out your emotion the than just is lashing out in front of no and just that's what nobody. i'm saying you go in your room and you punch a pillow like I know. masculine behavior girls shouldn't be doing that but, like, better way. but let's say you live with your boyfriend you let it out on your boyfriend mm -hmm. no what so, so she thinks that's okay what slap slapping up your boyfriend yeah that's not okay what that's, that's what you're not supposed to do. Oh, why? Okay, but well, we're that... saying- Who said why? Okay. I think the, uh, I'm the, sorry. Sorry, the majority of women, when they're in a relationship, when they don't live with just their pillow, they let well, it on I the guess, man. I guess. So that's what they're they're trying to say. Like, the majority of which is true. What y'all bitches do when, when y'all get cheated on? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but y'all gotta know. I mean, understand the male species. Oh. And y'all have to control your emotions. If you're really in love with the guy, you know, every guy cheats at the end of the day, rich or poor, whatever, he's still gonna cheat. So you guys have to. Fox. Start controlling your emotions. I, I would I would say that women have more social awareness. They can walk into a room and kind of pick up the mood, like, okay, this chick is single, this girl's trying to find a guy, this dude is weird. I get I think that women are like way vibes. better at detecting um well you use vibes. Well, I say social calibration. Okay. Uh mm -hmm. and being able to detect what the fuck is going on. But in reality, I would say like who has more control of their emotions? The person that has to let it out or else they're a victim of their emotions, or the person that can control it, keep let it, it inside. subside. And whatever because here's the thing yup so they say that women are more emotionally mature right but actually men's whole lives are an exercise in emotional maturity in order for you to actually be a man a functional member of society when somebody says something that makes you mad you can't hit the guy that's jail time that's a charge you can't yell at the guy that's a charge you have to calm down and control it and if, especially if you're working in a job, or, you know, uh, working some kind of career, you have to control your emotions constantly. You see a girl that you're attracted to, you can't even sleep with her uh, unless you can be calm, control your horniness, talk to her and seduce her. So literally, all of males' lives is an exercise in emotional control. Whereas girls are like, oh, I'm, uh, I'm bleeding today, I'm upset. Oh, I'm, uh, you know... I'm mad at my boyfriend, I slap him. Oh, I'm, you see what I'm saying? Those are not instances of emotional control. Those are instances of lack of emotional control. But there is something that women are better at than men, far better at, and that is feigning sympathy. So pretending to care, they're very good at that. They're very good at pretending to, to sympathize with your problems. They, they don't actually care, but they, they're good at virtue signaling, which is, you know look at what a great person i am i'm supporting you in this moment right but they're not doing it because they actually care they're doing it because they don't want to get kicked out of the group they want to be seen as a desirable member of the group they're doing it for purely self-serving purposes all right shilling time hit the like hit the sub hit all for notifications drop me a donation like hunter m agent on tom m just click more in the video description buy my books at bit.ly slash helios books Share this video and go to my Patreon and subscribe, patreon.com slash the Helios blog. All right, shilling is done. Let's continue. Thing with emotions, guys. Well, yeah, but I think both are healthy well, ways the thing, of with emotions. Emotions are temporary, ladies. Yes. They're temporary. So if it's temporary, why are you going to go ahead and try to make a permanent solution to a temporary problem? Exactly emotions that. change all the time. Mm -hmm. So as a man, it's your job to control your emotions. Let us right. decide. And then use that. Or if you, you can't get rid of it, you go to the gym. You train, mm -hmm. maybe you manifest in some positive way, but I would or argue study. men need to be able to control their emotions. Only women are given the privilege to be emotional without getting made fun of or insulted. Also Not only without getting made fun of or insulted, without large consequences to negative behaviors, right? So for example, girl can go to the mall, have a shouting contest with a boyfriend. Girl will not get in trouble, boyfriend will, right? Because angry men shouting around, stomping around is dangerous, right? 
angry women doing the same thing or not. But not only this, they also get the female pass. What I mean is, because they're girls and, and men want to sleep with them, they get a pass. They, they have much more leeway in their behaviors. And this is especially true if the younger and more attractive. Uh -huh. So before this gay 40 year progressive experiment from the sexual revolution, every intellectual from Plato to Arthur Schopenhauer who inspired Nietzsche, all agreed, all the geniuses that you study in Harvard, they all agreed that a woman's mind is very similar to a child. Um, oh. Google it if I'm lying. Google it. Don't laugh. Google it. You guys might. My... That's uh, Bruno Tomasi. Uh, women are children. But there's, there's more. I'm not kidding, guys. The way that you teach kids good behavior or, you know, pets. That same strategy can be used with your girlfriend, and it works. And I'm not calling girlfriends a pet, for those of you in the comments that, that are going to say that. No. What I'm saying is that behaviorism, right, which is the concept of encouraging the kind of behavior you want through behavior, uh, through, through reward and punishment, that concept works really, really well with women. It works really well. And that's how you train your girlfriend to have the kind of behaviors you want. When she does what you like, you reward. When she doesn't do what you like, you either don't reward at all, or you, pu you can punish as well. Over time, you'll see an increase in the behaviors you like and a decrease in the behaviors you dislike. Because people like reward. And they'll actively seek out reward if given it. Also, if you want a girl to be uh, addicted to you, then you do, rather than a normal reward cycle, you do an intermittent reward cycle. So, for example, you know, let's say she, um, okay, you know, you know what, uh, what guys like in relationships that's not bedroom fun, but it's adjacent to bedroom fun, you know what I'm talking about, and usually it involves the girl doing something to the guy. Yeah, I'm just trying not to get demonetized, but you get what I'm talking about now, I hope. So, you can reward that behavior through intermittent reinforcement. So, sometimes you have a huge response, sometimes you seem to have, uh, you know, a little or no response. And so, she's going to wonder why she's not getting the huge response every time and keep doing it more and more and more in an attempt to get that huge response out of you. Try it. All right, let's continue. I get offended because I know that after what he said, y'all are all going to be like, ah, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but the thing is, um, it even says, in the, I don't know if y'all believe in the Bible, but it even says in the Bible, the man, the, the, the woman Eve was the one that convinced Adam to do what he did. So we have, we actually, we might be emotional and all, but we do have a power over men sometimes because. Yeah, absolutely. Women's power over men is their bedroom fun. That's n not even subtle. We, we know that. And that's why, men, you have to control your urges, right? You can't just, uh, you know, you can't just let, you can't just let random girl behavior dictate your actions. Okay, let's continue. Because men, at the end of the day, are suckers. They might ask, act masculine and stuff, but at the end of the day, a woman can affect a man's, uh, what's that shit called? Decision. What did she say? Men are suckers? Yeah, never date a girl with that mindset. That's the biggest red flag possible. Exactly. Men are suckers. So, Stupid. Of course. So oh. we are, also. if you are in a relationship, your job is to provide peace. That's yeah. it. Oh, this bitch watches the show. Holy Indeed. fuck. No, nice. even before the show, I thought like this. I know, I know. Stop the cap. Okay, provide yeah, stop the cap. Exactly. Stop the cap. If, if your attitude is men are suckers, there's no way you think like this. Get some peace, just take a break. For thousands of years, <laughs> thousands and thousands of years, mankind suppressed female sexuality, right? The one time we liberated from the Bible, the, God's law, highest despair, anxiety, yep. depression, as purchasing power increased. You guys got rich and you're the most depressed you've ever been. You Indeed. have the IQ of a child, get over it.
No, and that's really oh, emotion. Uh, that's that's extremely emotionally unintelligent to not be able to process what's going on, see the best thing you could do, and decide to punch a pillow. He's right. It is diagnosed that women think like children. If you're out here punching a pillow at 25 because you can't think straight for a second, you're not emotionally intelligent. If you're mad, it's absolutely true. You're not emotionally intelligent if you're exactly if rather than dealing with your issues, you're punching a pillow. That's right. If you're mad, instead of going to the gym, no, no, difference? don't go to the gym. Don't go out. Don't yell at your boyfriend. Suck his dick. Sublimate that energy. Channel it into dick well, sucking. Well, he won't leave. Going to the gym and punching a pillow is actually getting something the done. Why? The, the Why? Gym, you're accomplishing something. You're overcoming adversity. You're building you're doing character. Something for yourself. Punching the pillow is letting out your emotion. But that doesn't. Uh, the, right. It's it's not. Okay. An emotionally intelligent person would understand. I'm angry. I need to get this anger out. I want to get my anger out in a productive way because I'm going. If I'm going to be angry anyway, I might as well use it. And goes to the gym, or whatever, you know, goes and does boxing. That would be the way to do it, as opposed to I'm angry. I'm going to punch a hole in the wall. Where well, that's not productive. They're not the it same doesn't at all. do anything. But it's not giving it's not you. Not anything. Anything. It's giving done. you release. Is what so it's doing. They're the both the doing. Are you getting hotter with it? No. So it's You're preferably to make yourself so better in some way, so either training your mind or your body. Okay. Well, if I happen to be very angry and I'm at the gym, obviously I'm going to use it. Use the gym, but I'm not going to yes, bottle up my feelings for 10 minutes while I'm driving. So. Angry. Right, exactly. I'm not going to bottle up my feelings for 10 minutes. So imagine you're dating this girl. You say one... Look, look, the girl beside her is concerned. You say one bad thing in her opinion. Maybe it isn't even a bad thing. You say one bad thing in her opinion. Immediately the slap comes. Oh, sorry, you just made me angry and I'm not going to bottle up my emotions for two seconds. Yeah. Disaster. Angry, gonna, which is dangerous, gonna, to the gym to gonna, then let it out at the gym. You're gonna go home, punch your pillow, and then what's next? And then I'll feel better. Or if you're driving, <laughs> you go or, and get Botox. Or you control your emotions. Think either about it logically, one. Either and you feel one. Better. You either meditate or you punch a pillow. But Whichever one, though. you She's you gotta a, let it. Okay, out. so you know what? Let's go ahead and adopt your uh, mindset of like punching yeah. a pillow or whatever. Okay. When guys get angry and punch, they punch walls. Okay, well here's the thing. But that's, that's a wall. That's that's a problem. Though. That's bad. Yeah. That's the right. problem. Like, that shows you can't control see, your this, emotions. This is what I mean when I say that when women can't control their emotions, we kind of laugh and because accept it. Pulling... But when men can't control their emotions, problems. No, wall. that wall right. sometimes wanna, deserves it. Don't attack me now. Sometimes I punch walls. <laughs> Don't call the cops, you liberal white woman. I'm tired of dating them. I punch one wall and they'll call the cops. If you like I'll punch turn on wall, them. I never touch a scene? woman. All right, go if to jail wanna... for your ugly ass. Fuck out of here. If you want to punch a wall in the privacy of your own home while you're angry. That was funny. Okay, notice how, how uh, girls reacted to John, right? Look at that. Again, how can you tell that a guy has a huge end count? Well, there's the reaction, right? And imagine, he's getting that reaction constantly. Yeah. And then the girls talk about him. Oh, he's so funny. Oh, he's so cute. I love his tattoos. And then one thing leads to another. Go for it. But obviously, like, in, you're in the presence of a woman. You have Bitch, to admit that's going to be the same way. Look at, look at the girl's body language. By the way, totally open to Zerka. You see, her arm is crossed towards the girl she's sitting beside, but it's open towards Zerka. The Listen same, to me. The same she, your man wants sex and peace and quiet. If you're angry, suck his dick. And then since 90%, 90% of human can make communication is nonverbal. So after he nuts in your throat, shut the fuck up for 48 <laughs> hours. 48 <laughs> hours and he'll never leave you. Yeah. And you think this is comedy. This is life changing is advice for you. True. It's actually true. <laughs> if, uh, yeah. If more girls took that advice, I think there would be v very many more happy marriages. Oh, uh, look, Fresh is uncomfortable. That's funny. Anyway. You're funny. Go okay. to the gym, go get Botox. Don't do that shit. No! in front of your, your boyfriend don't punch the or what does that have to do with because some pillow? girls don't like going to the gym so if you don't like going to the gym and you're driving you go you just want what? to get botox wait are you, are you wait, hold on hold on wait. are you disaster you're saying get botox when you're angry yeah like if you you don't like going to the gym you can go what are you talking about get me what a mess
Beatles or, or some type that, of no, shit. That's how people go. That's how people go trans. Don't listen to her. That was the dumbest right. thing that I've heard like, or on the show. A facial. a facial, a facial, a facial. She's just talking to talk. This girl here. She's just. Yeah. By the way, guys, you want the biggest red flag? She has a chain on her neck that says Queen. I mean, what more needs to be said? Why don't you go to the bathroom for a second? Don't you have I to know, go? I have to pee. Yeah, please go. All right. What uh... the... <laughs> yeah, please go. <laughs> Stico! Please go. Holy, what the oh, man. Oh, but this is, this is the common argument. Oh, if you man. listen to women, they think that men need to cry more to be like them. But if you listen to them, society's going to crumble. If we have a bunch of crying men who are punching right. pillows and walls, everything is going to collapse. <laughs> Who's going to be yeah. fixing the roads? Yep. Who's going to be fixing your toilet? What is fucked up? A guy who can't even control his emotions, who needs to take a break and punch it, or somebody that can process it. You think about being emotionally intelligent is crying. Stupid. Also, young men listening. That. The I day that, I feel like hey, just well, she said, she said, said, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Like she said, doing any of that she stuff said was, yourself, men are trash, then we asked her why men are trash, and then she said it's because men lack emotional intelligence. I asked her, can you find emotional intelligence? She argued that it's the ability to control your emotions and having empathy, and then we debunked that. Oh, by the way, yeah, I didn't play this part of the show on, on my show, so let me, let me talk about it. So they say that women have higher empathy than men. But it's actually untrue. Women do not have higher empathy than men. Women have much lower empathy. Women tend to be solipsistic and lack empathy. And this is especially true for the male experience. So women have a lot of trouble understanding what a man's life is like. They don't understand at all because women don't have to understand men to get them. Men do understand women's experience and women's life quite well, actually, because men have to understand women to get them. So, for example, if you as a man, let's say you get injured, a man will, you know, he'll understand your pain, he'll understand what you've lost, he'll empathize with you, and he'll feel bad for you, and he might even try to help you. A girl, same situation, okay, you get injured, you, you, you're not the man you were anymore. Even if she's your girlfriend, even if she's your wife, she'll leave you. Because now you're not providing her the benefit that you used to provide her. Therefore, in her eyes, you're pathetic now, which means she'll leave you. You see the difference? Which one is empathetic and which one is... But the man might not say, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Uh, are you okay? You know, how can I help? Like girls will say that and then not actually help. And then leave you. So who has higher empathy? Men or women? And then if, if I were on the podcast saying this, women would say, Oh, not me. I'm not like that. I'm a ride or die. I would be with you, you know, no matter what. And then if you ask them about their past dating experience, the second their boyfriend slash husband lost their job, you know, or got injured or anything like that, Oh, I just lost attraction for him and I don't know why. Uh, we grew apart. Yeah. And we already talked about the emotional uh, intelligence, the emotional control thing. All right, let's continue. Already that women honestly don't necessarily control their emotions and aren't co have consequences for not doing so. And then men, I would say, have more empathy than women do because we have to understand women to attract them versus women don't have to understand men to attract them. I think everyone just needs to go to therapy and that's, that's it. stupid. I already go to Fuck therapy. Him. Nope. Most therapists are woke, which means they don't have your best interest in mind. They have the best interest of the woke narrative in mind. So they'll give you advice that literally destroys your brain. No, don't do it. Uh, I'm very dumb. Okay. Uh, clearly therapy hasn't it. worked for you because the, you know what emotional intelligence is right now? You saying shut the fuck up and meowing and kissing in the microphone. Obviously, that would upset a lot why of people. Why are you so upset about I know, that? I was not, the one because it's rude, that's why. It's rude and clearly you don't know how to act. That's why. Because if you knew how to act, you wouldn't dare do that to a man who's superior to you in every single way. You wouldn't dare. But you dare. And you dare constantly. Constantly testing. Constantly being annoying. Constantly being belligerent. Constantly being masculine. Constantly being prissy and annoying. Constantly. And you think that's okay. Utterly and totally ridiculous. Where's your father to tell you to not act like this? What a mess you are.
one who said why it was are we, therapy, why are we not still her. talking about well, that because it, i mean because it's yeah. something because you were rude and you're still being rude that's why that just happened it's a good example obviously you want me to be upset or you think that not i'm going to be upset by that not at all. The uh -huh. more emotionally intelligent thing is to just be like okay you think the way you think but i'm not going to let you emotionally i never me. said what? that and i and i never you did well, say that i mean you were rude you were argumentative you are condescending, you are insulting, and you think that it's okay, and not only have you not apologized or stopped their behavior, you've continued it. Where is your father? I didn't say that. So when you were 12 years old, you started to be attractive and you stopped maturing emotionally in your brain? You don't understand that that behavior is rude? You know why men haven't told you to stop doing that behavior? Men haven't told you because they want to sleep with you, but you're very annoying and you need to stop. Otherwise, you'll never get married. Why have none of your relationships lasted? It's not because you're a strong, independent, free spirit. It's because you're rude and annoying. Stop it. One yes. ovary at a time. This is okay. getting way too much. You guys, are talking about, you guys are talking about controlling your emotions, but you're upset when I say men are trash if you can control your emotions you wouldn't even be bothered by someone well, saying well, that no no, no, no. nobody's trash. upset about well, that I, I just simply asked you a question to can you define what it is i, I would say not emotional at all i'm having a rap by the way that girl's expression says it all one so sec let's let's see if, if the camera yeah yeah look look at her expression okay girl to the left of sneaker just look look at her expression lips turned down um eyes kind of squinting neutral to negative expression and um, shoulders are like uh, tensed she's in fight mode yeah date that girl guys yeah, I, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. You I, think he was, I think she was what? saying she when was did I being say that you were emotional. being emotional? Okay, so you're specifying you was being emotional? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I said how are you going to talk about like controlling your emotions when we're upset Wouldn't it be about fair to me say saying that you were fairly disrespectful by saying shut the fuck up and kissing at him and doing these things. She's a Imagine a girl thinking that it's okay to say STFU to somebody. Imagine. 50 years ago, that would have been your father full on slapping you in the face. And now it's it's considered okay. You go queen, strong and independent. Furry. I mean, I I would, not, I would take why, accountability for that. Why not? Bit. Yeah, like you didn't. I'm sorry react. that my meowing offended you. I'm really. Offended. Wow! Still not an apology. Very disrespectful. Uh, okay. Let me see if I can understand the Spanish here. Para la toxica next to sneaker for the toxic one next to sneaker. Uh. Uh. Sorry, I don't, I don't know exactly what it's saying. Uh, me encounter. Um, it enchants me. I like it. Tranquila y sin lágrimas. Um, yeah, sorry. Maybe, maybe in the in the chat. I, I'm assuming the guy is laughing violently at, at the girl's tears. Maybe. Something like that. But I could be wrong. No, oh, it did it. That's the key. That's the point. That's the whole point. It did it. He didn't do anything to you to react to it. He's calling you out on it. That's not emotional to call you out. But that proves my point. But that if women you're are calling allowed. someone out, then doesn't that mean that you're offended or hurt by it? No, I think it just meant he had a different opinion from you. Not, not that he was sure offended by it. That's fine. Calling something out isn't necessarily emotional. I would say that's just holding you accountable for you making a bad emotional decision, but that's my, that, this this entire exchange, I don't know if y'all ladies But you're basing understand. that off of the you're not, you're not That understand. didn't even mean anything. You literally- Yes, it did. You're literally lying and deflecting and being rude and you think that that's okay. Okay. We're in a room full of people here. Would you say, would you speak that way to your own mother? Would you speak that way to your own father? Would you speak that way to a person you respected? So how dare you speak that way to a person that can literally throw you out the window? Do you not understand? Like, you can't be speaking like this. This is not the way that a person in polite company talks.
You are poorly raised. Learn your lesson, please. Truly prove my point that women can act in an erratic, emotional fashion and not deal with consequences. You disrespected him. He didn't By necessarily meowing. react to you. you did, it was disrespectful. Yes. But he didn't By react meowing. to you emotionally. However, if you were a man and did that, there would be consequences, possibly of physicality. I honestly did not think it was that big of a deal at all. No, yeah. Indeed, because you have low emotional intelligence and don't understand that your actions have consequences. You don't understand that because you don't have a father. And there's more. You, Since you were 12 years old and attractive, men have been letting you get away with whatever you want because they've been trying to sleep with you. And you don't understand, you've been insulated from reality, and you don't understand that this behavior is very disrespectful. And you need to stop. Right now. Today. Don't do it again. Big deal, he's making a point, you fucking furry retard. He's making a point. Wait, 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 wait No, I gotta bark, I gotta bark. She meowed, I gotta bark. <laughs> Why? Because, you're, 21, because yeah. you're learning the quality of the podcast, right? So wait, wait, when, you're, you. when you're making all these random ass barking and meowing, you learn the quality of the podcast, <laughs> right? It's a high IQ conversation. If you're doing you look stupid on camera in front of 20 other people, right? So that's what we're saying, I right? meowed once. Well, yeah, you're impolite and disrespectful. Okay. This is a great place to end because I'm done. Hit the like, hit the sub, hit all the notifications. Drop me a donation like Hunter M, Adrian R, and Tom M. Buy my books at bit.ly slash Books. Go to my Patreon and subscribe, patreon.com slash the blog. And of course, share this video. Thank you so much for listening, especially if you listen to the end. I really do appreciate it. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time.